Hey everybody, Happy New Year 2023. And yes, I am very well aware that we are in the middle of January uh, as I'm putting this video out. However, I actually had to work through the holiday, which is why uh, I have taken a bit of time off. So in the meantime, I hope all of you got to actually see this video right here. Uh, that was released just after the new year. That was just kind of my tongue-in-cheek way of putting the spotlight on the World Economic Forum. So look, as we come into 2023 right here, I just kind of want to outline exactly what this channel is about. At the end of the day, this is all about uh, serving Christ and just keeping pointing the finger at Jesus the whole entire time, but also to let you know that all this stuff is going around the world and the time is short. So look, tomorrow is not guaranteed. The Bible talks about that. And pretty much that is uh, the goal for this channel. And thank you all who've already subscribed. Uh, and if you haven't yet, I would encourage you to do so. If you feel I am worth it, I would definitely appreciate it. In the meantime, let's start this year off with a bang. I was sent an article recently that just, oh my gosh. Well, let's just jump right into it. So here it is. Bethel leader selling prophetic leggings to enhance your awareness of God's presence. I am not joking. So look, I'm sure some of you already have your thoughts about uh, Bethel Church, where they stand. I'm not here to have an argument about that, but let's just, let me just show you what, uh, what is going on here. The woman who is selling this stuff, it's a side hustle for her. And she is associated with uh, the Bethel's Church School of Super Supernatural Ministry. Where it gets really, really sticky is when you just read the description about what she's selling here. So in regards to the leg leggings, here it is. Uh, she quote, wearing my art enhances your awareness of God's presence and helps you become a walking encounter of heaven's message to those around you. That's a mighty bold statement. But I looked at the website even more and it's not just the leggings, there's other stuff going on. So while this is a cute uh, phone case, get a load of the description. Uh, there is the, the Happy Jesus cell phone case whose prophetic meaning is you have captivated Jesus every time you stare into his face. He is so happy to see you, touch you, and know you, no matter where you go or what you do. He smiles and welcomes you home. Oh my gosh, you know, this is this is hilarious. Um, <laughs> but it's also shameful as well. I mean, that's really the truth. And of course, you know, I, I ended up showing the leggings to my daughter and she says, oh, those are really cool. Ah, I digress. You know what, folks, this brings me right back to a passage. I, I'm telling you, I read this just this morning in Mark 11, uh, 15, and this is out of the NIV. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, it is not written, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have been, you have made it a den of robbers. Folks, I know that, you know, we all gotta make a living somehow, but it's the principle of it, of how do you go about, uh, you know, shilling, you know, selling your wares or whatever you're trying to do and the motive behind it. Because as we go into these days, you know, this to me, it just preys upon people who just don't have a, a biblical knowledge and an understanding of what God is all about. Look, my advice to somebody like this is I'd say, you know what, pray, pray for God to provide for you, but don't let it come at the expense of some sort of, of uh, heresy that you're saying that by wearing these leggings or having this you know, cell phone cover, whatever it is, is going to bring you closer to God. I just don't agree with it, folks. And that is my word of the day. Folks, it's gonna be a very interesting year. I've got some even crazier news coming uh, forth 
It's kind of brewing in the background right now. I don't want to bring it out just yet, but it's some serious stuff as we go into 2023. Going to be an interesting year. Either way, you've got to keep pressing into Christ at the end of the day because He is absolutely the only one who is going to save you and give you hope. And that's it, folks. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time.